today, I'm going to be showing you how I clean my truck and saddle. So let's get started. So I just started with filling this trash can up with water, putting some ivory dish soap in it, and now I'm stirring it with a toothbrush. Now let's get cleaning. So I will be giving some tips and tricks on how to clean your saddle pads. And these are just what I use. You can use a curry comb, but mine doesn't always work the best for this type of saddle pad. Look up how to clean your saddle pad or how to wash it in the washing machine. So I'm just going to be using this mini tail brush. I'm going to try out, you can use these little kitchen scrubbies. They're just plastic, they are not wire. You can use them on horses' legs and you can get dry mud off very easily. And then I'm just going to be using like a just a normal grooming brush. It was a hard brush, but the bristles kind of just um, softened a little bit. So I would recommend probably using a hard brush and then use a little bit of a softer little brush. I'm going to start with my mini tail brush first, I think, and then I'll go with other stuff. And then also, I do use a... I don't think it's a No, I do use a whip roller right here, so that'll be our last step. I just do I tried doing like this, the back side, but then the spiky side. And you just go in a circle, clean your tail pad. And because my saddle is the biggest item and it takes the longest to dry, I'm going to clean it next. But first, since the water is just plain and it's been having some soap in it, now I need to stick a sponge in it. I'm just going to grab my little kit here. That's something I just dropped, but I just use a little ice cream pail. I will rinse it out real well good. And now I'm just going to grab a little sponge out of it. Like this. Put it in my water. And then I'm going to also grab a toothbrush and throw it in there. and just run it along the sides of my saddle, getting underneath like my saddle skirt, underneath my fenders. I'm gonna show you how to clean my stirrups in a second, but 
this is just the basic parts. I don't think you guys need to really see this. And if I put every single piece of the video and every single piece of my tack in, this would be a million years long. So I'm just gonna clean, wipe down my fender skirt, cancel back my saddle right here, my back straps, and I will get to my cinches later. And I'm gonna clean my latigo and stuff. And that is just easy. You just wipe everything down that's on your saddle. Wipe everything down, and then that's the easy part. And then I'll show you a little bit more of the complicated pieces. One more hack for your saddle. If you have really engraved or intricate detail on your saddle, then you can just take a toothbrush and go in little circles and clean all the little grooves and cracks and crevices of your saddle, and it gets all the dirt and dust out. Okay, so now you're going to take your sponge, and if you have fringe on your saddle, like I do, I just am going to take it and go along all the fringe just to make sure then there's no dust and dirt on it. It's just a quick job. I would do better if I was actually deep cleaning my saddle, but today I'm not deep cleaning my saddle. I'll do that another day. I mainly deep clean when um, it's before winter or before spring. Then I'll do a really in detail spring or winter clean, just deep cleaning all my tech. My saddle pad, I do deep clean a lot more than my saddle. Okay, so first before I start cleaning these stirrups, I need to adjust the hobble straps because they are too loose and I just got mud on my leggings. Nice. It's fine. I'm gonna take these off for a second and readjust my stirrups real quick and then also your saddle if you get it all soapy I would recommend using a damp cloth and um like wiping your saddle off with it. These are just some dry towels, but now I'm gonna put the hobble strap back on and tighten it so then my stirrups won't come off. But luckily I did take my stirrups off because part of my stirrups when I took it off, I realized that part of it broke on my stirrup. So, um, Luckily, I bought new ones because I don't want to ride in broken stirrups. Okay, well these just take technical difficulties. I will be back in two seconds. So now I'm just cleaning my stirrups. I took the tread off of my aluminum stirrups. These are the new stirrups I got just the other day. I've rode in them once and they work very nice and they're so pretty and beautiful. I just took the tread off, now I am scrubbing it down with a toothbrush, then I will take my sponge and just wipe it down, then I will take a dry towel and just wipe it off, make it dry, and then when I went to go clean my rubber tread, I went and scrubbed it with a toothbrush and then I dried it off a little bit and then I put it back on my stirrup. I love my new stirrups so much and they are so pretty and beautiful. Now let's get to cleaning my cinches. Okay, so right now I'm going to clean my cinches. So right now, now I'm just cleaning my cinches. I took my rope down and set it on my saddle horn so I could use this space up. And now I'm just taking a toothbrush and scrubbing all the detailing that's on my back cinch because it has a little bit of engraved detailing on it. I want to get all the dirt out of the cracks and crevices on that. And then after that, I just went in with a sponge and wiped it down. And then I just went and spot cleaned my nylon felt cinch that is by, I think, Smarty Cinches. 
I really, really like this cinch. It's very nice. Enjoy the rest of this time lapse of me cleaning my cinches, and then we'll get to cleaning something else. And excuse my allergies, because it is springtime. Well, at the time that I filmed this, this was at springtime, and now it is obviously summer, but my allergies were just going crazy. Okay, now let's start cleaning my bridles. I'm not gonna take them apart because, or this one apart, because this is my only bridle at the moment, but I'm not gonna take it completely apart. I'm just gonna take the bridle off from the bit and, well, it's a half mark, it's not a bit, but you know, I say bit because, yeah. Um, and then I'm, I'm gonna unclip my reins from my bit and unclip my bridle from my bit. So then I can just clean the three pieces all separately. And then I'll clean my split rings later, but now I have the bridle off because I just put scissor snaps on the bridle if you didn't know. Excuse me. And then I'm going to unclip my reins from my bit or my hackmore. That's how. This is just my hackmore. It's very, very nice. And it's not tangled. That's just my hackmore. It's very nice. I'm going to set that on top of my saddle and then I'm going to get to cleaning. But I almost just unbuckled that. But now I'm just going to go in with a toothbrush and scrub all of this detailing. Sorry, my allergies. I'm going to go in with this sponge, and then I'm going to go in with the toothbrush, and then I'm going to rinse it off with the sponge again. And then I'll clip everything together again after I clean everything, and then I will put it all back. Right now I'm just going in with a sponge and getting everything wet. And then also here's a hack. You can squeeze your sponge and then stick it in the water and then let it go. And then it will absorb a whole bunch of water. But I just got my bridle wet and then I went in with a toothbrush only on the detailing so it didn't take me a super long time. I just went on in on the detailing and scrubbed it in little circles like you would use a curry comb on a horse and then I went back in and wiped it off with my sponge and that's how I cleaned my bridle and then how I cleaned my bit is I just went in with a little toothbrush and scrubbed it all and then I went on the chain and all the metal parts and just used a sponge. Now I'm going to clean my split rings. So for my split rings, I just took a sponge and I wiped it all down. I will only use a toothbrush on in detail, very intrigued or engraved detailing or paracord tack. Okay, now my split rings are clean. Now I'm going to put my bridle back together. I just put scissor snaps on all of my tack so then I can just change out my bits and stuff all the time. So it's really, really easy. I can just unclip my bridle from my bit or hackamore and then I can just unclip my reins from my bit or hackamore. And it's very nice and easy. I really, really like it that way just because it is so, so easy when I have to take my bridle completely apart or when I have to go change my bit because I ride different horses all the time. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any notifications when I post a new video. Subscribe and like this video. Peace out. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.